Hey TJ, I know you've played uh I know you played inside and outside and kind of all over. Is there a place you're more comfortable in the slot or outside? Um, I, I would say definitely. I like, I've been playing a lot of the slot. Um, I, I just like the versatility that you can do in there. Uh, there's a lot more uh, plays that, that actually get your number called, a lot of blitzes. Um, there's a lot of zone coverages where you're allowed to steal certain coverages in, uh, within the offense. So, I think definitely inside is, has been a unique niche that I've kind of enjoyed playing throughout my career. Um, but I love bump, bumping outside as well, depending on, you know, teams that we play. I think the versatility allows uh, me to be able to be able to bump in and outside. So I think that uh, being able to being able to do some things both in and out and, and just like the versatility. So I try to continue to sharpen my skills at both. The, the slot in this defense flues is constantly talking about how important it is. Have you kind of felt that as you're learning the defense? <laughs> definitely, definitely. A lot of communication. Um, a lot of the, the things are, are predicated on the slot position. And you you definitely have to know the knowledge base of the defense just because you have to do so much. And uh, you're talking constant communication with either a safety, the corner, or the linebacker. So it's definitely a unique position that takes a, a lot of knowledge, a lot of skill, and just a lot of know-how and grit because uh, sometimes you could be considered in the box as a linebacker as well. So it's definitely a position that is unique and uh, it, it takes a challenge. Phil B. Hey, TJ, thank you for your time. Uh, I grew up in Ohio, so I know what it's like to have to be up in Berea sweating through the August heat. Uh, I'm wondering how it compares here to Indiana I think you've been out on the West Coast too. Yeah. How, how, how's this camp compared to the ones you've been to, and how do you feel like you're settling in? I know that that sounds like a softball question for an easy answer, but there are comparisons. There are differences to camps. No, no. I think um, I actually like. I love it. Um, just the, it's definitely different. I feel like in Berea, um, you really felt the humidity a lot more. Um, being here is is. Definitely, it reminds me a little bit of, of being back in California, uh, just because of the the consistent good weather. You know, never really too hot, never really too too cool. It's it's kind of always right around that good football weather um, to play in. So, definitely a unique thing that is is definitely I've grown to love um, and just love the area. Love being here. Love how. Um, Indy does exactly everything that they do at, at such a high level. So getting fitted in has been a joy. Thank you. No problem. George Brummer. TJ, Anthony Walker was talking the other day about the kicking competition and, and kind of, you know, not being the most fun when, when you're on the side to ask to run. Uh, what was that like today? Yeah, man, today was the first day I actually had to run. You know, it's definitely unique, man. Uh, you kind of take those things for granted, right? I've, we've had that competition these whole two or two or three weeks we've been in camp, and um, I think we've had to run maybe five times, and, and today was the first. So I was kind of like, dang, man, but great kicking competition, man. I think that uh, five and three, they're doing a tremendous job competing against each other, and, and I think that for us as players and teammates, you know, we, we embrace the competition and we, we cheer both of them on, you know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, whatever happens, we're going to need one or the other and hopefully we can keep both. But, you know, in the nature of this business, we don't make those decisions. So it's always an egg to push one another and you know, to definitely have fun with it. So uh, today was different. I, I ran one of them gassers and, and I'm like, man, I still got we still got a whole practice to go. So it was definitely a uh, unique thing, but uh, I think a good competition that coach has been able to instill in us. Phil B. Yeah, TJ, I uh, thought I'd ask you another. Um, what struck me in the off-season Zoom call with you is how relaxed you were. You seemed like a dude that was really comfortable in his skin, like whatever happens, whatever role I'm asked to play. I, and, and today you seem free and easy again, whether – well, gee, TJ, we need to play inside corner, or outside corner, or safety, or nickel. I mean, what? It's just is it just because you've been in the league long enough to <laughs> don't sweat the small things or the weather, or just be ready for anything? Yeah, man. You know, you you try and pride yourself on being able to be capable of doing anything. You know, you never want to be a position where a coach has to say, "Well, dang, we can't use him there." You know, and so I kind of pride myself on being able to be very versatile in the sense of 
you know, we need you to play the 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 punt return. We need you to play kickoff return. We need you to play the the right center and, and kickoff return. We need you to play the kickoff L1, you know, so things like that, to me, it's it's a part of the game. And, and when you love it and when you live, breathe, and, and you just enjoy what you do, you know, you put yourself out there to say that, man, whatever you need me to do, coach, I got you. And if I'm not good at it, I'll, I'll stay after to perfect it, which is something that I've been, have to, been having to do since I've been here, just playing different positions and trying different things out. I'm always just trying to stay after and say, coach, you know, can I work on this or can we try this? Or, you know, I, I had this position in practice, didn't really understand it. So it's all about just trying to find greatness in everything that you do and priding yourself on being coachable and, and wanting to learn the game uh, more and more as you go in. So, you know, definitely coming into year seven, it's definitely something that I've prided myself on doing. And, and I want to be one of those guys where the coach can call on me any situation, any minute of the game. Um, whether it's crunch time or not, he knows what he's doing, put him in there.